Hey guys, if you haven't already, give the video a like, subscribe to my channel, this is a what if series and I'll be doing more down the world, plus ultra. Hey guys, welcome to What If Deku and Todoroki Were Brothers, Part 4. So, we left off with Deku just, well, I should say dominating the apprehension test. I didn't really like clarify what all went ha happened in the apprehension test, but just knowing that Deku has one for all. He has controlled 35% or else his body was ready for 35% off bat. So Deku can use 35% full cow and 35% stockpiled in his arms. Or if he wanted to, he could use a roughly 40% smash with like feeling just a little bit of tension without breaking his arms. Deku's flames are much stronger and can go like like his flames are destructive and can destroy and burn down things with all like with his might. Like he at the point can create things out of his fire and throw them or his most suitable attack is f having a bow and arrow made out of purple flames and shooting 1000 arrows at someone. So, so Deku has came up with a lot of attacks for his flyer, and I would say his fire, fire is destructive in its nature. It's, all, it's destructive around the same as One for All is, so combined together, you're seeing a huge fire fist. Yeah, Deku, that's one of Deku's attacks, and I like it because a, a fire fist was very, very, very cool in One Piece. Anyway, so... Deku is out in the, out in the dojo. He's training with his brother... Todoroki and at the when it gets done training he leaves the dojo to go to his room notifying that's the same as when he left and he would see his father and his father would say so you've been hanging around All Might lately are you his lapdog and Deku would just feel tension in his bones he would feel anger but he would just say, let out a sigh saying all that time I was in there did you ever once think about coming to save your son? I called out for you. You claim to be a hero endeavor. You want the number one hero spot. You want to prove that you could be better than All Might. Well, I don't see you ever becoming better than him. You're too cold hearted. You're too idealistic by strength, by perfection, that you cast everyone else aside. You don't even see hope in your other kids becoming heroes. Hell, you didn't even see hope in me becoming a hero. So, I want you to think about that. Don't answer it, because I know your answer is just going to be a shitty question. You should really think about that, father. I'm out of here. And Deku would go to his room. Endeavor would be sitting there thinking about, and he would say in his head, in his head, a kid really has gotten a lot stronger, didn't he? Since the last time I seen him. Deep down inside, Endeavor really was looking for his son, but his prideful nature didn't want, he didn't want to tell Izuku that when Izuku needed to hear those words. So we now flash forward to the apprehension test, which, not the apprehension test, we flash forward to a doctor in a building and he happily just walks up saying, hmm, there's a lot of destruction here. I hope I'm not too late. He then looks down at this battered, bruised, and damaged body, seeming as if it was female. The voice would just swell out. barely can speak and he would kneel down and saying so do you want revenge if so I can grant you that revenge I can grant you power I can grant you skills to dominate that boy you see this world is heading out for war and I'm going to do my best to prepare soldiers for that war. But you're no need for a soldier. You have the power to stand at the top. Do you want revenge? 
do you want to kill the man who seemingly almost killed you? I'm surprised you're still alive. You got heavily damage on you, girl. She would just look at the man with a very blank stare. And he would have his people come in and grab her and saying, and saying, well, I see that you can't talk, so I'm hoping that you're agreeing with me. By the way, I am going to make you very stronger than what you previously were. All those wounds on your body and everything will be healed. And we're going to introduce you to quirks. I'm going to implant quirks inside you. And that's where he lets off a smile and they walk away. And now we cut to the battle trial arc. So with that little brief discussion right there, you already know where that's going to take a turn at. So now we're at the battle trial arc. And Izuku and Todoroki are going to be on the same team. The Todoroki brothers are going to be on the same team. And I guess for the battle, um, Juro... I guess that's her name. And Mineta going against Tinya Ida and Bakugo. Would Bakugo would easily blitz them and they wouldn't make it to the... I guess Juro could use her sound wave, but I don't think no. It wouldn't work out. Even if Tinya, I mean, Mineta uses sticky things, it wouldn't very work out with Bakugo on their ass like that. So they would lose and the villains would win that one. And the next one is Todoroki and... Shoto versus the guy with the tail. I don't remember his name. Let me know in the comments so I can implant that in my brain. And whoever else was in there. Todoroki would freeze the bomb like he did in the original. Like, Well, first, Deku would let off some purple flames engulfing the area. Having the guy with the tail quirk just jump up in the air. And Todoroki would then freeze the ground saying, you should calm down, you're going too overboard. Well, at least it got them away from the bomb. And Todoroki would then smile and say, well, look at you thinking with your head. And Deku would just say, shut up. And then that would be it for the battle tri arc. The rest of the battles would go the same and Deku and Todoroki would head home. Kata would approach Deku and saying, hey, loser. I haven't seen you in a whole and I haven't seen you in a while since you disappeared and people were looking for you. When did you get a quirk? I thought you didn't have one. And Deku would say, well, it just manifested through heavily amounts of pain. And as for instance, Deku looked at Kachan. If you really want to know everything about how I'm so strong as I am now, ask All Might. And then Deku would just walk away. So, Deku and Todoroki would begin their training and all that kind of stuff. They would train, talk, and eat and all that kind of stuff. So, we're now flash forwarding to the USJ arc. So, Deku would be training, but he has a sharp chill down his spine. Seeming as if he has unfinished business with someone who isn't quite dead yet. I mean, I mean he thinks it in his head. Did I ever, did I think, I think I, I don't know if I killed her. So, with that, Deku just then focused on it and didn't start back with his training. And now we cut to Isabel, who's healed up healed up and emitting this dark black aura from her body and she says to the doctor what did you do to me well for instance I've upgraded your power I noticed like you like to torture your victims a lot so now you have a quirk that has super strength a quirk that has super speed you also have a quirk that has shock absorption. You also have a quirk that has... And you also have a quirk that can manipulate ice. I gave you those advantages. And she would test out her new powers. Training 
day and night, waiting for the moment that she can get her revenge on her prize. Izuku was still hers and she, she wants him all to herself. Nobody will have him. He is mine. So now we cut back to Deku and his classmates getting ready for the USJ arc. They're getting ready for the USJ. I'm not going to go on the USJ arc. Anyway, so they're getting ready to go out and they get on the bus with all of them talking and collaborating with each other. So when they get to the USJ facility, they're greeted by 13. 13 comes out and tells them that they will be doing rescue missions from various sites in the USJ. But they see this strange purple-like portal open and they see these villains come out and to someone says oh they got actors and everything Shoto Aizawa gets in battle mode and say those are not actors get back and all these villains come out with Shigaraki and this giant well Shigaraki not Nomu Shigaraki and this girl coming out which Deku immediately realizes and gets very very angry his flames start shooting out of him as his eyes just glow purple. <sighs> Killing the number one hero should be fun. This kid here is angry, I guess, from seeing you. And the girl would look at Izuku with, like, anger in her eyes, too, as her eyes just glowed black. And she would tell, she like, her eyes just went black, and she would tell Izuku, you thought you killed me. Big mistake. You messed up, little Izuku. Now let's play a game. As she flashed in front of Izuku with such speed. And Izuku was shocked, but then he, he, as his right arm, like his right arm was coming to connect with her face, she grabbed him by the short shirt and kicked him into the nearest wall, letting out a huge dust cloud explosion. And she would tell Izuku, like she would shoot, uh, she would shoot ice over there. And Izuku would easily melt it away, flying at her. And these two would get into a huge battle scuffle as Korogiri teleported them somewhere else in the USJ. As their battle continued, Shoto Aizawa was now faced with defeating the villains and the Nomu. Izuku and this girl would be in quick Battle. They will be scuffling with each other, hitting, going blow for blow. Izuku's like seeing how she's managing to keep up with him. Izuku said, I have to try. Jesus Christ. So, what happened to you? Seems like you got a power buff. And the girl would go to say, Well, I've went through some things. I had some surgery, I had some regeneration to my body, you know. The doctor, the doctor that healed me and gave me my power can be quite informative, you know. As she then goes into goes in for a kick as they're talking while they're fighting, she instantly kicks Izuku in the stomach with Izuku catching her foot and slamming her into the ground. Izuku's noticing that he cannot stay here and fight with her, notifying like having the thoughts of his friends, his brother. Even his teacher in trouble by these villains. Izuku tries to get away from her, but she grabs him by the neck and slams him into the wall, saying, you're not going anywhere. Izuku says, get out of my way, bitch. And his arm instantly goes to one for all, 100%, and hits her into the stomach. She coughs up blood, but not before send, like punching Izuku with enough force to rival his own back through the wall. And now they're standing outside of the USJ. And she's saying, wow, there's a lot of people. Might not want to catch them in our scuffle. And, she, and Izuku, I, Izuku is backed into a corner now. Izuku rushed, used his speed. But now he used one for all at 100%. Izuku has a broken arm. I'm not going to mention that. He has a broken arm. So Izuku has to be careful. Izuku then charged at Isabel's charged at Isabel and kicked her in the ch in the chest sending her flying straight back to the battlefield where the other content like the students and Shoto Aizawa was and he was in the midst of battling her but then 
he, because he's getting frustrated now. Just the thought of seeing this girl just mere irritates him because he thought he killed her. And she's just standing there smiling at him, but she's heavily battle damaged. Broken, she had, he hit her in the ribs. She has broken ribs and everything, but she's heavily battle damaged. I'm going to say that due to the fact that she has to keep up with Izuku, but she's standing there smiling, smiling at him. She's confident. She's still standing tall while Izuku has a broken arm and Izuku saying, I thought you were dead. Why aren't you dead? And some of the kids or heroes would be looking at Izuku saying, wait, wait, did you kill her? And Izuku would be looking at this. This is the woman who tortured me, who put me through all that hell. She, she, she took away my sanity. She did inhumanly things to me every day it's like it's a record playing over and over and over in my head how are you still alive this is impossible izuku said clutching his head the girl would look at him and say and say it's not my fault you don't listen i told you the doctor can do mysterious things as Izuku rushed at her and used 100% of one for all in his other arm and punched her in the face, sending her flying, skip rocking across the ground. And then catching her balance, her jaw was dislocated as she put it right back in place. Her nose was bleeding and her eye was bruised. Black eye. She didn't stand back up and saying, I guess all that training did pay off. If I didn't train before I came here, I probably would have been beaten or even worse, dead. You sure pack a punch. I'm guessing you got some kind of strength enhancer or something like that. And as Izuku and Isabel will continue their battle, this is when All Might would show up and Izuku and All, and like All Might would handle the Nomu that was on top of What's the name? Shoto Aizawa. Basically kicking the Nomu off of Shoto Aizawa. And then the battle with All Might versus the Nomu. And Izuku versus Isabel would go out. Well, go the same way with Izuku basically using his legs to battle against the girl. Or battle against Isabel. Kicking her left and right. Keeping a controlled portion of how he's using his power. He knows he can get to 45%. But it strains his body, but he can do it. He can maintain it. He can maintain the power just for a little while. As Izuku is just using his legs, kicking her left and right, doing left kicks, high kicks, kicking her in her side, kicking her in the ribs, kicking her in the chest, kicking her in the face. As she's come by counter striking and punching Izuku in the body, in the face, in the mouth, in the stomach, in the she's doing everything she's can to ward off his attacks. But Izuku studied coming at her. And his fire is melting her ice powers as she's shooting a lot of ice tendrils at Izuku, which he's just melting away with his majestic flames. Izuku's trying his hardest to battle against her, and he instantly does an attack where he kicks her up in the air, and he jumps up behind her saying, this is it. And Izuku would use, would, would kick her, like what did he do? Sorry, I'm stuttering there. Izuku would be in the air with Isabel, and his fire would be coated around his leg. And Deku would look at Isabel with his eyes glowing purple, and he would kick her to the ground, which you see a purple beam, a purple beam of light just shoot towards the ground, and there was like a huge crash. The same time, All Might slammed the Nomu. Izuku would crash down, and in a unison, him and All Might would say plus ultra as Izuku delivered a kick to Isabel and All Might delivered a punch to the Nomu, sending them both out of USJ. And that's when like Shigaraki would say, he cheated. What the hell happened? This shouldn't have happened. And Korogiri would say, Come on, we have to get out of here. And they would leave making their escape. And Isabel would have crash landed somewhere, being heavily damaged, barely able to move. But she would get up, walking away, saying, I have to get stronger. I have to get stronger. And for those of you who don't know, yes, 
this female character is going to be a potential rival. She's going to be Deku's all for one. Even though Shigaraki is going to be that. So Deku, not only does he have to fight Shigaraki, but he has to fight Isabel too. Isabel is going to go on her own her own path. She was there just with the League of Villains just to get like revenge on Izuku. But she's seen the battle knowing that there was on par with each other. But then not so much. So she still has to train. So yeah, she's going to go her own path. But she's going to show up in familiar episodes battling, out with the, battling it out with Izuku. When they got down, All Might would be at his limit of using his power. And that's when they would create the whole scene and create the stuff around him. And Izuku would be tired out. He would fall to the ground unconscious due to the battle that he had to basically implement. While his he was shaking, Izuku was shaking and then he had a tear coming out of his eyes saying, Damn, even I, I, I failed to kill her. She's still alive. That sick, twisted girl is still alive. Why did I fail? And Izuku would let out a tear and fall unconscious. And All Might would say to Izuku's unconscious body that, Hmm, while I don't know much, young Midoriya, it seems that this woman has caused you a great deal of pain. I will ask, of you, I will ask you about it when you wake up. And that's where I'm going to end this anime. Well, this what if of you lovers. Anyway, so yeah, Isabel is still alive. Isabel has four quirks and Isabel is on par with Deku. I'm not going to say she's like up there with Deku, but where Deku's level at is now, Deku can still improve because he's only at like he can do like okay so put it like this 45 percent is like kaioken to goku that's what it's like so izuku can manage like 45 percent, but it does start to strain his body but his like collective goal is like 35 percent, like i mentioned in the third part of the video anyway with isabel being alive and she's going her own path she's not joining the league of villains she's doing her own thing now we have shigaraki and Isabel to worry about and potential videos and the potential future for my hero this my hero academia fan fiction world anyway without any further ado you guys have a good day a good night and you already know the deal plus ultra good night guys